Hello everyone, I am here again with another video, uh, this time I will uh, try to troubleshoot um, a hash rate drop on the Asus Tough Dash F15, as uh, many of you told me, after a recent uh, BIOS update, uh, they get um, a hash rate drop. Um, at, at about 5 minutes after overclocking it to maximum um, performance they get about 51 mega hashes per second and with the same uh, overclocking value um, the hash rate drops to about 47 just like now and uh, with the same values the hash rate does not rise anymore and uh, nobody knows what to do so um, I made uh, the recent update on my uh, mother chip uh, BIOS to see how can how can I uh, figure it out. I uh, played a little bit with the configuration and I managed to find out what uh, we have to do in this um, situation. So uh, let's uh, take it from the beginning. I'm going to close. Now I'm going to zoom a little bit so you can see the screen. Something like that. Okay. So uh, I think like this. It's okay. Okay. So let's close the miner. Uh, as you can see, let's check the BIOS version. MS and for 32 so I have the latest BIOS version which is 327 327 so I think uh, in this BIOS update um, they the manufacturer um, introduced somehow um, a rule that uh, verifies if you are mining and after that it reduces your performance from the GPU so um, I will show you what uh, you must do in this case uh, first of all please check if you have uh, a stable BIOS GPU version uh, because uh, Windows can also modify your GPU BIOS so as you can see this is my stable BIOS version on the NVIDIA RTX 3070 so make sure you have this BIOS version and after that uh, I will show you what to do um, open the Phoenix Miner we will wait for the that file to be fully generated and after that we will go uh, we are going to start the MSI afterburner okay now we are going to start okay now um, after this update um, you will find that um, you cannot uh, overclock the core clock um, like with the same values uh, as on the previous version of BIOS um, on a, another laptop uh, with a, an older BIOS version I could get the value of 400 on the core clock but now this is not possible it will crash I don't want to do it now because most probably it will, it will reset uh, what I managed to do is find the value that uh, it will work. Uh, the current value is free, uh, the core clock at about 350 and the memory clock the same, 698, no more than 700. Even at 700 it might, it might uh, restart, so uh, 698 it's a um, good value, the best I can work with so we are going to overclock at these values 
as you can see uh, it's, the hash rate is going to rise at about 51 mega hashes per second it should be now most of you managed to do this now after a while you will uh, see a hash rate drop and the, the same values uh, would not work would not overclock your um, GPU the hash rate will not, will not rise anymore so uh, I will show you what uh, we can do in the meantime we are waiting to have that hash rate drop you will also see that uh, the overclocking um, values will change will be reduced the GPU and the memory will be much lower I don't know what, when it will be triggered I saw that uh, sometimes it triggers at about 1 minute after the overclock and sometimes about 5 minutes of after the overclock so I hope we won't wait too much Okay, now as you can see the hash rate is dropping, you will also see here that the memory clock has a reduced value, so now the hash rate is stable at about 47 mega hashes per second, 47.6. <coughs> Okay, now let's say that uh, the MSI afterburner maybe, I don't know, has reset himself. So we will try to enter another time the exact values. So I'll check this. As you see, as you can see, nothing happens. I have saved the, those values here. So the overclocking does not work now with these values now let's say we will reset the afterburner and after uh, that we will reintroduce those values let's reset as you can see it dropped even more the memory clock and the gpu the core clock so now the hash rate goes below 40 now it's 32 mega hash per second so it's quite a uh, extremely low value so now you have 28 that's terrible okay let's try to put again the same values as earlier to see what happens maybe now it will work no we even got a crash Let's start all over. I will close both of them. Start from beginning. Okay, so we are waiting for the, the dev file to be generated. As I uh, told you in the previous, because um, you might get invalid shares or stale shares or you might find that your current hash rate is uh, much lower than your reported okay now let's uh, try it again as I see now the standard not non overclocked values are as the same as we started so I think we will have to wait for another crash Sorry for taking so much, but this uh, update is quite difficult. So in the meantime, uh, I might just uh, recommend you some other settings. I don't know if you are starting uh, the mining process from zero and you haven't saw any other videos with mining on the top dash f15 um, but 
first thing you do is save your uh, GPU BIOS so if Windows makes any updates you have it for a downgrade you have to install stop updates then this program so you make sure Windows does not make any updates you put your battery to performance you go to power and sleep and take all of these settings to never because um, sometimes if the screen goes off the I don't know Windows says the laptop is idle and switches to the integrated uh, graphics card and you will find another crashing hash rate so getting back to this I see it takes a little longer so other settings that you could check uh, let's see device manager uh, I will show you my driver so uh, some laptops um, might have the latest drivers that are not quite good so you have to make a clean install now as you can see I have this version of driver 6140 now uh, on this laptop Windows even made a, at a certain point uh, a driver update and uh, my hash rate went down so I downloaded this version of driver I checked the clean install meaning it will erase the other version of driver and it will install this one and it all worked fine now let's hope the crash happens because it's just one setting away from showing you what to do also I think um, it has to get to about 69 or 70 degrees Celsius so that the motherboard or I don't know the BIOS sees that uh, it's mining or it's I don't know intensely used no okay in the meantime uh, many of you will want to save your battery because being all the time plugged in you know your battery life will uh, drain a lot faster so uh, there is a setting that um, tells your um, computer to charge the battery to about 60 or 70 percent now you can do this by accessing my access you can download this app in the Microsoft Store or Windows will install it automatically at the beginning before you install stop updates then so you go to customization and you select the maximum lifespan mode it is very important because it saves your battery life or you can choose balance mode uh, it charges it to about 80% but I pre prefer maximum lifespan because I do not use this laptop at all and I want to save the battery as much as I can so getting back to the crash as you can see again we have the same crash now as you saw uh, those values would not work anymore if we res uh, reset the afterburner then we get a crash a shutdown of the Phoenix miner so now I played with those values and uh, after this crash we can bring much higher values now I played a lot with the values I will show you directly what are the best performing values so as you can see we have 
820 at the core clock and the memory clock to 1190 so let's see let's see what happens now as you see as you can see now it's overclocking again and the hash rate will uh, go up to about 51.6 or 51.7 so this is a stable hash rate is the maximum that this laptop can bring and uh, this is all you can do uh, what you have to mm, do in the first place wait for that crash I don't know maybe one minute five minutes or ten minutes after you start the uh, mining process and overclock your GPU but um, stay tuned uh, see when the crash happens uh, bring these higher values and then let it mine that's what you have to do I hope this uh, is helpful for you guys thank you very much and uh, we'll be keep in touch see you bye